Welcome back to BT. David Robertson in the BT Kitchen. Always good to see you, sir. Yeah. You're busy. There you're you cooking. Go. It's Thanksgiving for our American viewers out there. So we're going to make up something nice here and uh, simplicity, right? Yeah, we're going to make some uh, soup. Some soup. There you go. It's the season. Featured there in your you cookbook, go. by the way. You always bring the great recipes. If you at home are watching and want to get in on it, there you go. Dirty Apron Cookbook. So what are the ingredients? What kind of soup? So this one here, um, squash is in season right now. We've taken some squash. We've roasted it in the oven. Tossed a little olive oil, salt and pepper. Now, how this long are you roasting it for? What temperature? 400 degrees. And that size, it's going to take about 25 minutes. Okay. Okay. And so basically, you, you sort of squash has a lot of natural sugar, so it caramelizes on its own. Make a good soup and go the onions. There we go. So we want to, when people are sauteing at home, Riaz, one of the things that they want to do is respect the part of sauteing. So people people just sort of bypass this and they throw in all the liquids, right? But what, what you're not doing is releasing that raw flavor. Okay. So, you, so naturally, onions have sugars in them, the uh, oils of the garlic. We want to develop that flavor. You should almost smell it, right? And cook that rawness out of it and spend a little bit of time to do that. Move that back and forth. So sauteing, sauteing, sauteing. Very good. Um, also for good uh, soup, some wine. Okay, but people don't need to go out. Uh, yeah, oh, deglaze cool. and <laughs> okay. get that in there. Gotta take your time with the process. Enjoy it. Okay. Make it super. Yeah. <laughs> and we're going white wine for yeah, this? Yeah, a little white wine that goes in there. And so what happens there, Riaz, is you can see all that sort of steam come off. That's deglazing. So when you're deglazing, you can, there you go. So when you're deglazing, you're, you're picking all that flavor up in there. And um, even, even if you had um, other vegetables in there, you'd always want to deglaze. And you can use any liquid to really deglaze with. Yeah. So it could be stock, could be a type of juice or liqueur. Over here, next thing we have in, this is just a little bit of organic uh, apple juice. Mm -hmm. Squash and apples go very well together. So, and that goes. Okay. Uh, go ahead, throw the squash in, my man. We're doing the whole bowl? Yeah, just throw it right in. Okay. That's it. So that is the squash, been roasted 400 degrees, 25 minutes, and then vegetable stock goes in. And then I would let this simmer for about 20, 25 minutes. So you guys said you'd give me 20 minutes on air today. Yeah, we're gonna give you the full hour <laughs> special, but then we have to pull back the reins just a bit. Um, the apples, the apples just go in. If people wanna roast them, they can. I just find they go in raw quite well, and then you can just sort of cook those down. And then heavy cream, okay? Heavy cream, 36%. All goes in. You're going to bring that to a boil. You're mm -hmm. going to let that go for about 25 minutes. And this is what you're going to end up with right here. Magic of television. We did it beforehand. There, and there we go. And so we just pureed that in a blender. Yeah. You can also put that into a, um, you can put a uh, immersion blender in there. So try a little bit. Okay, how hot is that? Should we let it cool down? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I see a bubbling. I want to do the taste test, but so, let's be real here. So as you serve that, find your favorite bowl in the house. Yeah. This is my favorite. This is called the Harvest Bowl. And look at that, look how that sits nicely. Don't underestimate the power of a good soup this time of year. People love it. With a nice glass of vino. Nice. And then, there we have, a little garnish. Let's make it look pretty. This is a cinnamon cream, just a little whipped cream with some cinnamon. So we're gonna doll that up. Little microgreens, some chive, a little bit of olive oil, Goes on top, you see how that sits? Some masterpiece. And a right little there. bit of good old bourbon maple syrup. There so you go. Wine, Done. Wine and bourbon. There you are. The uh, magical ingredients in this soup. Okay. That's it. That's it. I'm going to do the taste test, but we've also um, got this right here the Soup Sisters and Broth Brothers cookbook. Tell us about this initiative. Soup Sisters goes all across Canada and Broth Brothers. It's a program. Dirty Apron donates the space once a month. Corporate market comes in. All the soups get made and they get uh, handed to the Battered Woman Shelter Broadway Youth Center. It's all about nourishment, giving back to the community. Tomorrow, if you come down and grab our soup, my recipes in that book, you'll get a free cookbook with tons of great soup recipes from chefs all across Canada. So that's tomorrow, not today. Today we are serving the squash and apple soup at the Dirty Apron Deli. So okay. everybody wins. Everybody wins. And yeah. if uh, we want to win with the cooking class in December, are you guys still teaching during the holiday season? We are sold out till the end of the year, but you can book into January. New Year's yeah. resolutions. Yeah. If you want to get uh, the culinary skills up in the kitchen, yeah. that's a great way to do it. I've been down there myself. You guys do a terrific job, so it's a great chance mm. to cook. Uh, again, Dirty Apron Cookbook is when you, you, you can pick up all the recipes and 
Hey. Voila, this is magic, my friend. Now we are Broth Brothers. We are Broth <laughs> Brothers together. They're in the BT kitchen. There, you can follow along on social media, too. A little bit went down. Hey, temperatures are cold. This is perfect to have on a day like this. Mm -hmm.